and those things they have taught us. It's not difficult to lose him, but it is difficult we must carry on with his lessons without his guidance. My father was the second, I was son. Raymond, Beatrice Malcolm, one of seven children. My father was character. He had to be stick out among a group of characters. <sighs> they all had their own distinct personalities, roles, passions. <clears throat> My father served proudly in the United States Army, faithfully served, along with his brothers. And we are all proud of his service and theirs. We also mourn the loss of his younger brother David this year, who was laid rest with honors in Arlington Cemetery just recently. I am very proud of that. I am extremely grateful to our cousins. While our dad, their brother Del, rest with him. All three of them, all three proud servicemen, and family. Thank you for that. <clears throat> dad had many passions throughout his entire life, which is likely where I get all my different interests. Thanks for that. An outdoorsman and a hunter. He was a woodworker and a musician. He was a mechanic and an electronics engineer. He loved to travel, he loved to ride motorcycles and play poker. Most of all, he loved to cut stories. Dad never knew a stranger. He would talk to you, tell you stories, oftentimes the same ones over and over. But as the years grew, some of those got a little bit bigger and a little bit better. He would give you his advice and his opinion, whether you wanted to hear it or not. Oftentimes, you needed to hear it, whether you admitted it or not. In fact, my last conversation with him, with him, the old man, Give me advice on women. Still, 30 years later. <laughs> he loved his family and his friends. That is what I remember the most of him. He was always there when I needed him. He taught me values and virtues of life. He taught me to work hard and be independent. He was a provider. And he never went without for anything. He provided us a good and loving life growing up and taught us how to live a good life as adults. I can find no greater compliment to give to a parent. And I leave him today not in sorrow, but in respect, honor, My last words with him still stay with me. The whole truth today is always. Dad, I appreciate everything you have done for me. You're a good father and a good man. I thank you for that. And I love you. <clears throat>
always there for me when I needed him. And I will always appreciate that. But I know that he's with my mother now in heaven. And they're looking down on us. And we will meet them again today. Yeah, but that went. 